7 day breakfast plan for diabetics to control your blood sugar and still enjoy their life. Well, for diabetics who want to keep their blood sugar down and don't know what to eat for breakfast and they still want to have a good time, right? Well, I have a 7 day breakfast plan to get you started. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Now, a big egg, right? It only has 70 calories, 6 grams of protein. That will be your first day. It is calorie efficient, protein rich, and one egg has less than 1 gram of carbohydrates, right? Now, what if you ate 2 eggs? Well, if you ate 2 eggs a day as part of your high protein diet, actually it can lower your fasting blood sugars and your A1C levels, which is an indicator for long-term blood sugar control. Let's say you're doing that on your first day for eggs. It can be cooked, poached, scrambled, and you can do it in a variety of ways. If it is too boring for you, you can make an omelet with a variety of veggies such as spinach, mushrooms, bell peppers as an alternative option. Now, because of their high protein and moderate fat and low carbohydrate content, eggs are not only delicious, but they're ideal for people with diabetes. Now, again, you can uh, fry them. You, you know, not that fried food is great for you, but if it is not affecting your blood sugars, occasionally you can do that. The second day, you go for the yogurt with berries. Again, Greek yogurt with berries is super quick. It's nice and pleasant. It's a nutrient-dense choice uh, if you have diabetes. Now, dairy products, if used in a smart way, can actually help regulate your blood sugar levels and even reduce your blood sugar levels, right? The research shows that. And also bacteria in the yogurt, which uh, help in your digestion. And it, it is great even, you know, to break down the sugars in your gut, which is another finding that in that research that I've seen, that the reason that Greek yogurt actually helps diabetes. With, even with the berries, you're getting around very minimal car uh, carbohydrates and stuff uh, with yogurt, if it is Greek yogurt. You can do some... Um, almonds in there if you want to, uh, if you want to have a little bit more calories, if you're very active. But again, you will not have to add a lot of carbs to make it taste good. Your third day will be chia seed pudding. You need to prepare that in advance. Uh, it is super high in fiber. It's beneficial with omega-3s, right? So chia seeds are super, super choice for diabetics for breakfast. That's going to be your third day. Now, those carbohydrates can be absorbed and broken down slowly. They're digestible carbohydrates, around 12 grams of carbohydrates in one ounce of chia seed pudding. But you're getting up to 10 grams of fiber. Again, that fiber has no effect on your blood sugar level because also it slows your digestion and your absorption. That soluble fiber in chia seeds may actually help reduce your blood sugar levels greatly. I would say a mason jar full of chia seeds, for example, with some almond milk and vanilla. That's your best bet to prepare a nice overnight pudding with chia seeds. All you have to do is refrigerate overnight after mixing it thoroughly. The calories in the chia seed pudding will be around 175 calories, around 6 grams will be protein, 11 grams of fat, and only 16 grams of carbohydrate with a 10 grams of fiber, right? So if you want to, you can actually top the chia seed pudding with some fresh uh, low-carb fruits like uh, blueberries or strawberries uh, for some extra flavor if you like. Uh, you can use sugar-free sweeteners like stevia, for example, if you want it sweeter. Now, your fourth day will be oatmeal, okay? Now, that's your fourth day, but you are going for the steel cut, not the instant oats, okay? You are going for a cup, not for a bowl. They can be healthy if not overdone, if not eating too much, because there can still be a carbohydrate load if you're eating too much of it. If you're going for a half a cup of like uh, cooked oatmeal, for example, you're going to need around 250 cc of water to cook that, and you're going to end up with 154 calories, and you're going to have 5 grams of protein and you're going to have around 27 grams of carbs in that dish and four grams of fiber you know oats help with the cholesterol control as well uh, but there's something in oats it's called a beta glucan that's a special type of fiber again it stimulates a hormone in your gut called the peptide yy which you know helps you feel full and that's stimulated by this beta glucan that is present in oatmeal 
Uh, you can add some cinnamon, for example, some berries, some almonds to it, or even some Greek yogurt if you want to, to enhance the flavor. Your fifth day will be multigrain avocado on a toast that is simple and is popular. You can use a nice multigrain avocado toast that is pretty much suitable for every diabetic as long as you're not eating too many of that. Now, as you know, avocados are abundant in fiber and monounsaturated fatty acids, which are two nutrients that help keep your blood sugar level stable after a meal, especially breakfast. The fiber in the multigrain bread is also a factor. So make, make sure that when you're buying those, you're getting a lot of fiber because some multigrain uh, breads are not necessarily good for you, but you are going to end up with, you know, 30 calories in that. And then if you add a half an avocado, that will go up to 250 calories, uh, nine grams of protein in that serving, 24 grams of carbohydrates and 11 grams of fiber. So not bad, huh? Now, if you want to boost the protein and fat content in that dish, because you're not going to have a lunch, you're going to go for a long time without eating, you may throw in there some eggs as well. Uh, you put some pepper and some uh, some salt, some chili sauce, whatever you want, and there you go. You have a taste explosion. On your sixth day, you're going to have a low-carb smoothie. Now, yes, people can still enjoy a tasty low-carb smoothie, and you can have pretty good ingredients in there. Now, even though smoothies are normally heavy in carbohydrates and sugar, it is possible actually to make you uh, yourself a low carb smoothie out of a half an avocado, half a cup of almond milk and half a cup of Greek yogurt and a little bit of a vanilla extract. Now, more than 254 uh, calories are in there, but that's not too bad because you're getting 15 grams of protein, 16 grams of fat and only 15 grams of carbs. You're getting seven grams of dietary fiber as well. Now, uh, you can add some stevia if you want some sweetness in there, but a half a scoop or a full scoop of protein powder is sometimes also used if you need that extra protein. Not everybody does. Some people with chronic kidney disease have problem with that, for example, but it can help you with the hunger in the long term. On the seventh day, you're going to have a fruit and nut bowl with a cottage cheese. Now, cottage cheese, I said, because it is soft, it is creamy, it is delicious, right? And like I said, if you use the dairy products to your advantage, it can actually help lower your insulin resistance, which is a super common problem among diabetics, right? So as a standalone ingredient, it is not particularly very tasty or flavorful, but if you want it to be even creamier, you can actually put in a food processor and blend it. You can add some fruits and nuts, for example, and there you go, you have a great, sweet, delicious bowl for your breakfast. You are getting around, uh, in a quarter cup of a cutter cheese, you're getting 37 grams of that. Is If it's some blueberries, for example, it's going to contain 190 c uh, calories. You're going to have nine grams of protein. You're going to have around nine grams of fat and 13 grams of carbohydrates in most cases and uh, three grams of fiber as well. Now, you're covered. Don't ask me again, what am I gonna have for breakfast for your diabetes? So, D seven day plan, and if you keep repeating that, it's not boring and it's going to give you results. Remember that, and also remember, to subscribe to this channel and also go to our website please and go become a VIP member by subscribing to our newsletter at sugarmds.com. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.